Catherine Fior, EU reporter. Uh, we see that Europe over the last, uh, since the refugee, refugee crisis and maybe before has become a much more intolerant place. I was wondering what can the religious leaders do to say to their followers that they have a duty to welcome refugees fleeing an ultra-violent conflict? Um, in particular, you know, there are some European countries who have said that they want to defend their Christianity. Well, surely part of that is part of their Christian values. So I suppose it's largely speaking to the Christian leaders. Thank you. Elder Patrick Caron. You, you asked what, what can we do? And our experience over the last 18 months has been to encourage. I'm, I'm from the UK, I live in Germany and, and have a, my responsibilities cover all of Europe. So we've been encouraging our, our, our church members from um, 39 countries from the EU and beyond to get close to refugees, to feed them, to clothe them where appropriate to provide shelter. Um, and this has provided glorious opportunities for, for adherence to, to my own faith and, um, and provided those who've got involved with wonderful opportunities. And they have been blessed as they've, as they've helped those who are in such dire need. And, and this has been a revelation to many and it's, and it's taken down barriers in, instantly. So we encourage our people to do this and we continue to do that. And, and wonderfully, some of our best experiences are, are when we act in joint ventures with, with people of other faiths, Muslims, other Christians, uh, uh, Jews and, and, and people of other faith, as well as with governments and with non-governmental organizations. So we get in and help. And, and that breaks down prejudice, and it, and it brings healing, and, and it extends a warm welcome, which is a great foundation for integration.